Hail Caesar! Hail! Yeah, that's it. That's my opinion. Check. Hello everyone, welcome to Film Fireside. Hail Caesar is directed by the Coen Brothers, which was released back in 20... It's released back in 2016. I just got around to checking it out recently, dropped on Netflix, so you can check it out too pretty easily. Wow. Wow. I love, love the Coen brothers. It's been a long time since I've laughed so hard at a movie. This is really, really funny. It was to me. I'm really surprised at how low of a score this got on many different like ranking places, movie places, movie platforms, because it's brilliant. I, I think it's just absolutely wonderful. Really, really charming, really, really fun. A huge just spoof of golden age Hollywood, simpler time of Hollywood. That's actually not so simple. There is just so much about this film. I think one of the reasons maybe people didn't like this film that much was it didn't really, well, <sighs> See, but even then, I, I would disagree with this statement, but I could see some people saying this. In fact, I've even read some people say this. There isn't as much of a cohesive story to this film. There's a lot of side things happening that maybe don't seem related, but they, for the most part, are. And if they aren't, that's beside the point. There is one pretty consistent story. George Clooney's character has a consistent arc and story that he experiences and that he goes through. The film in and of itself speaks just so much about just like us our society, our groups we associate ourselves with, our belief systems, just everything that we just cling to, and it just takes time to just kind of laugh in the face of all of them. And it's just so, so brilliant. It's so great. Yeah, I don't really want to spoil much for this film. There's a lot of aspects of this film that go into play, but it really is just about golden age Hollywood cinema. Josh Brolin is the main character who, it, this is actually too, something I don't think a lot of people realize, is actually a biopic, kind of, on uh, Eddie Mannix. This is more or less loosely based on, on his career and his work in Hollywood. He did a lot of work in making movies. I don't have much to say about this film. Uh, a lot of this requires analysis, which I can dive into. Uh, and there are maybe a few things I could pick up on, but I, I think the main thing you need to know is that it's very, it's a very unconventional film. It's quirky. It's odd. It's a strange story. Um, and to a certain extent, it's even a little bit meta. And I think it dips into that realm because it's about a working environment that not many people are familiar with. So maybe some people feel disconnected from it for that reason. So that is maybe like my one complaint to the movie is it's a, like the slightest bit meta. But here's the thing about that though, and even then, I don't know if it's that, that much of a complaint because the Coen brothers, all their films are very subtle and they just always just kind of leave you with an ending that is not really, that doesn't always feel like a proper ending, like a proper how it's supposed to end. And I think the Coen brothers do that in a very specific way though. Uh, it, it would be more meta if the Coen brothers approached this film with this idea that, well, they don't get it and they just don't get it. <laughs> I, I feel most Coen brothers movies are have those endings and the endings are more or less, the abrupt endings are an invitation to try and understand. They wanted us to understand, or even then, the Coen brothers I think are really good at just letting films happen. The Coen brothers films, I've said this a lot, uh, always feel like parables to me. They are stories that are extremely simple, but not very clear as to what they're about. And I think you can take many, many, many lessons from them and therefore, depending on what I'm going through in my life and depending on what this person's going through in their life, they can, we both can approach this movie and walk away with something different. That is just fantastic. I, I think that's great. This is just a star, star-filled cast of those performances. The two that stick out to me, obviously Josh Brolin, main character, he's fantastic. And also Alden, Alden I, I Henrik, I, guy who played Solo, which by the way, I was really surprised to see him do so well in this film because I was not a fan of Solo. And it, I guess that wasn't ever necessarily his fault, my reasons reasonings for not being a fan of Solo, but I, I was very surprised to see him do so well in this film. He is so funny in this movie and he gives a great performance, plays a fantastic character. It's really solid work from him. I was very happy to see that. George Clooney too. Oh my gosh, just cracks me up. Gosh, this film, it's funny. It's a really funny film and maybe people were thinking they're supposed to take it seriously. I don't know. It, 
like I said, I'm just really surprised that this film got not <laughs> that not as many people love this film as I thought they would or maybe even should. My School of Hail Caesar, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, I hope to watch it in the future. I'll probably gain more from it when I do. Um, there's a lot of analytical things, like I said, that I could really get into. Thanks so much for watching this review. Stay tuned for more movie reviews. Hopefully we get some more new releases coming out soon. Please, this pandemic will, will be over sooner rather than later. Have you seen Hell Caesar? What are your thoughts about it? This is a great film to get into a discussion about, so let me know in the comments what your thoughts of Hell Caesar were. Like this video if you like this review and you want to see more. If you want to see more, subscribe to this channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post more reviews, which I try to do at least once a week. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Bye bye